we are looking at drawing inequality graphs. Now, inequality graphs always are represented by shading. For our case, we are going to concentrate on shading the unwanted region. And the region which is required will not be shaded. Now, we have got four inequalities here. We are going to draw their inequality graph. And we shall put all of them on one coordinate plane. Let's start with the first inequality. X is greater than negative 1. In order to draw this inequality, step number 1, we shall change it to an equation. And our equation is x is equal to negative 1. So, x is equal to negative 1, we shall draw a vertical line on our coordinate plane at negative 1. But remember, if the sign of greater than does not have equal to down here, then we shall draw a broken line to indicate part that is not equal to our answer. But all those which have got equal sign will be a complete straight line. So, our line will be here. We see this is negative 1 for x. So, we shall put our broken line here. And we shall call our line x is equal to negative 1. Now, after drawing the line, we look at our inequality. X is bigger than negative 1. If you go to our graph, X is greater this side. Meaning, the opposite, or the opposite side is smaller. So, this side will satisfy our inequality and this side does not satisfy our inequality that says x is greater than negative 1. Hence, this side is not wanted. And as I said earlier, we shall shed an wanted side. Let's go to our next inequality. Y is less or equal to 3. Step number 1. Change it to equation. Y is equal to 3. So we shall go to our grid where Y is 3. There and we shall draw a horizontal line. And we name our line y is equal to 3. But we want y is less than 3. y is less than 3 is the below region. Above is y is greater. So, since our inequality is less, that means we don't want up. And we said we shall share an wanted region. 
Let's go to the next inequality. Y is greater or equal to X. Step number one. Change it to equation. Now because we have X and Y, it means this line has slope. So step number two, we create a table of values. When my x is 0, y will be 0. And when my y is 0, x will be 0. Hence, I need to get another point that will give me a different point. I can take x as 2. So when x is 2, even y will be 2. So now I have two points. 0, 0 and 2, 2. So 0, 0 and 2, 2. Then I will join them with a straight line. Because my line has equal sign, then I will draw a straight line and I will call my line y is equal to x. After drawing my line, I will have to get a test point so that I can know which side I can share. Let me get my test point. Remember, a test point is a point that is not touching the given line. It means this point should be either this side or the other side. I can take a point, let's say this one here. 4, 1. The point 4, 1. 4, 1. Then I substitute my test point in my inequality. 4 is x. 1 is y. My sign is greater or equal to. 1 is greater or equal to 4. This is not true. If it is not true, it means this point does not satisfy our inequality. So if this point does not satisfy our inequality, it means all of this region is not wanted. Because the point did not satisfy our inequality. So we shall shed the same side where the point is located because this point is not true meaning this point is among the points which are not wanted let's go to another inequality y is less or equal to negative x plus 4 Step number one, we shall change the inequality to equation. Step number two, we shall draw table of values. When x is zero, y will be equal to four. And when y is zero, when y is zero, x will come this side and it will be x is equal to 4. Hence, I have 0, 4 and 4, 0. I will plot these two points and I draw my straight line. 0, 4 and 4, 0. So, since there is equal sign, I will just draw a straight line.
and I will call my line y is equal to negative x plus 4. Remember, we have drawn a line, so we shall name a line with the equation. Now, I need to get my test point so that I can know which side I should shed. Since my line is here, this is where my line is, 0, 0 is not touching this line there. So I can use 0, 0 as my test point. So my test point will be 0, 0. I will substitute my test point in my inequality. Y0 less or equal to X0 plus 4. 0 less or equal to 4. The statement is 0 is less or equal to 4. And this is true. If this statement is true, it means our test point is one of the wanted points. So, if our test point is one of the wanted points, it means we shall have to shed the side which does not have the test point. Remember, our test point is 0, 0. Our line is here. This means the other side is not wanted. Hence, this part will be our required region for the comparison of all the four inequalities that we have drawn. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to my channel and click the bell for more videos to come. My name is Mr. Ishengoma.